Next question is from Rolando Chavez 2. Are massage guns a helpful tool for recovery? Wow. You know, there's mixed messages. We talked about this in a while. With massage. So some studies will show it doesn't facilitate recovery. Other studies will show it does help facilitate recovery. I'm in the camp that it does. Now, we'll get to massage guns in a second, but I'm talking about massage first in general, like a good massage practitioner, because that's the gold standard, right? You have someone who really knows what they're doing, work on your body. Here's why I think massage improves uh, or, or helps facilitate recovery. Um, now, there's the argument. It moves fluid through the body. It helps with the inflammation. It helps get the signaling uh, to happen and re recovery work faster. I, maybe that might be happening, but here's the, the main reason why I think it helps facilitate recovery. A good massage, what massage does when you press on a muscle is it sends a signal to the central nervous system and it says, chill relax. Out. Yeah, chill out. So like if you have a knot, you ever had someone push on a knot in your shoulder or your back and then you feel it release, that pressure told the central nervous system, this doesn't need to be so tight. Yeah. You know, you get, you get this kind of feedback mechanism. The CNS relaxes. Yeah. It interrupts that feedback mechanism. Yes, which I think that is important. helps with recovery because if your muscles are is, are constantly kind of tight, yeah. that's going to prevent recovery because it's 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 a little bit damaging, especially over time when you have this tight. You know, I've gotten sore just from being tight in an area for too long. So I think massage helps you move better and helps release uh, the CNS a little bit, which yeah. then allows the recovery to happen a little faster. I think yeah, it needs that that break from that, that constant loop. It's, it, it's almost like once you get in that loop and anything you do, that's not even a movement that should affect that area. Yeah. Like your body is just going to tense up a bit more, a bit more over and over and yes. over. And you just get in this perpetual loop that if you need to like physically address it. And I think that it's really helpful to get, um, that, that outside stimulus to uh, break that up and then allow, you know, more range of motion, even if it's temporary, which, you know, we found is, you know, the, the effect doesn't last very long, but now mm -hmm. you can really work on mobilizing it, getting more circulation. Well, to me, that's the key to me. The, the key is not so much the massage gun or the massage is what you do with it afterwards. It's you get the temporary relief so that you can then go train uh, your mobility work or Properly. You can then train in full range of motion, right? Like that, that's the, it's like the foam roll, right? It's the same, same type of a concept where, so if I had a yeah, massage, that's you know, yourself applied. Yeah. I don't have one, but I would totally use one. I mean, I think, I think that it'd be a cool tool to have. I don't really, it's not that big of a deal for me to carry it around. I also think that you can do that with a foam roll. I can do, my wife is a massage therapist, so she can do it with her hands. And so I think if I get like really locked up hips from like overreaching on squatting, maybe a couple of days ago, and then I'm back to, you know, maybe I'm lunging or deadlifting today and I'm still stiff and locked up from that. Like something that would release all that is a good massage before I go in and then do some great mobility work and then go into my deadlifting yeah. session. I mean, that's how I would use something like that. And I think it's a useful tool. Um, I don't, I think the way it's promoted and it's sold and the way a lot of people think of it is this idea of like, you know, the pro athletes use it, speeds recovery up. And like, if I want to get the maximum gains and results, I'm going to use these tools so I can get faster recovery and mm -hmm. I can go in. It's to me, it's not like that. I don't, I don't see. And if, and even if it is giving you like that, you're talking about splitting hair yeah. difference as the, far as the, the competitive edge it's going to give The magic you. is in how it's used. Just like you said, Adam, if, if a muscle is tight and it's preventing me from moving in a way that's going to help do a correctional exercise or moving in a way that's going to give me better technique or form, then loosening that muscle up through massage is a phenomenal tool in that sense. Yep. But if I just loosen the muscle up and then leave it alone, what's going to happen is whatever caused it to be tight is still there. Yeah. So it's going to tighten up again. This is why people go to the same massage therapist every single week for the same areas. Oh, it's yeah. always my neck. It's always my, like you never fix it's it. It's good for business. But, yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, you. I had, when I had my wellness studio, some of the best results I had with clients were when I had a client work with me as a trainer, uh, with our hormone and nutrition specialist, that's obvious, and a massage therapist. We had this excellent massage therapist. And what would happen is I would do my assessment and I'd say things like, oh, forward shoulder, anterior pelvic tilt. Um, I would do my correctional exercise. Then the next time they came around, they would see the massage therapist first. Then they'd come see me and I could like right away get into certain movements and the results were, were uh, super fast. Now, here's my thing with massage guns. Massage therapists, and you talk to anybody who's really good at massage therapy, there's a, there's a lot of art and science into what they do. Mm -hmm. It's not just you know, rubbing you down and massaging you. A really good massage therapist knows the body 
in their context, as well as a really good trainer knows the body in the context of exercise. The problem with massage guns is you give them to everyday regular people. They don't understand so much. And all they, they do just is they go just, right to that one pain spot. Yeah. And they're just, they're not helping themselves because they're just hammering areas that hurt and they get that temporary kind of relief. Um, so you got to kind of know. So if you combine it with correctional exercise, you know what muscles to get out of the way with massage. Unbelievable. If you, you don't, don't know, then it's it's kind of like a waste. You of know, time. you just brought up something that's a good point too. I mean, this is something Katrina has talked to me about many times before too. Is you can overdo these things too. Totally. Mm -hmm. So the, it's not like more is better no. either. Like there's a there's a sweet spot of that is the idea is to get the to get you to relax the 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 muscle to calm down for a second so I can then go put the work in. But if you just are getting or digging in or you're just right, you could actually get sore from that. And it completely defeats the whole purpose of why you just did that. You just did it to get some temporary relief mm -hmm. so you could go put some more work in or work on mobility or go train. And if you actually do it so deep and so hard that it still hinders the workout, yep. it kind of defeats the purpose of why you're using. Absolutely. The tool. Now, here's the other thing is that uh, they are all massage tools are a poor substitute for human touch. There's so much value that comes from human touch that nobody ever talks about in the health and fitness space. Well, maybe not a lot of people. Some people do, but it's not very popular. So many healing properties, so many recovery. Like I remember I would get clients that would come in, they'd work with me and they were super, usually older clients like, oh no, I don't want a massage. I don't want anybody touching me. You get this. And then I'd convince them and the, the benefits they'd get just from having a person touch them mm -hmm. and you know push on tender areas and whatever. It was like, it was uh, almost miraculous in some ways. So the, the the value that you get from good massage from a person is who knows what they're doing is, uh, I mean, they're as valuable as a good trainer in, in my experience. That, that's the only reason yeah. why I think I don't have one of these guns is be, be simply because Your I, wife. yeah, I think she's incredible at that. And to me, it's just like, if I really locked up or a situation like that, she'll, she'll do that, you know? So it doesn't make, and that's the best, I think, in my, in my opinion, yeah, that, you can't get if it. you've got that, if you've got somebody who n understands the body, like we do as trainers, I mean, it's amazing. She, I don't even need to tell her what I did. Like as soon as she, oh, she'll see it. Yeah. She'll, oh, yeah. as soon as she starts moving her hands on me instantly she goes right to where i'm at like so i think that that beats a, a yeah a good, any day. good therapist can really like read your entire body and yeah. your body language and how you react to you know pressure and it's really interesting to me like and that, they have lots of terms you know to define all that but i'm just like whatever dude, this was amazing well yeah. you remember when we we went through uh the aldoa stuff like the fascia yeah. lines and stuff like that yes what always fascinated for me and you know she doesn't have an aldoa certification and and like her their schooling is a little bit different what they go through but I remember when we first, and I understand the body and anatomy really well, as you guys do. Uh, it would trip me out. Sometimes she would, you know, she would do something like in my calf. Right. And it would release something in like my upper back yeah. or something. And yeah. It would trip me out, you know, like I knew I had some issue up here, but then all of a sudden she would push. It's a totally different art. You understand it, it, that collateral effect. Yeah. Right? yeah so like, if you, if you understand those fascia lines and how, how totally. long they run, you can go work your way totally. down another part of the body to give relief in a completely, like you ain't, uh, the average person who owns a their gun isn't, isn't able to do that. Here's what, you know? here's what it makes me think of. It's like having a dumbbell like a dumbbell can be a very valuable tool you just gotta know how to use it so i would like to see massage guns come with programs that help you assess and then apply and use rather than the indiscriminate use of a massage gun i have it and i just push on things that hurt because i don't see i don't think there's tons of value in that i think you're just you're kind of shooting in the dark and poking what hurts and that doesn't necessarily help you if you're not doing it the right way